All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and this will be part two of uh, our free-to-play series, where really my main objective has been to just take a look at what is the first, uh, first little bit of playing Hearthstone like for a brand new player to Hearthstone, in terms of the new player experience. And we are keeping the account free to play, because obviously, obviously, if you throw uh, the, you, you know, whatever, varying degrees of money at the game, that's going to change your experience significantly. But I'm sure a lot of players, especially when they're trying to figure out if they enjoy Hearthstone or not, uh, will probably approach it in a free-to-play manner. So in the first episode, as you may have seen, all we did was really unlock all the classes. And um, we played a uh, first match at level 40, beginner levels, whatever they call them, using this mage deck, which just felt... Um, very underpowered, but you would expect that in a first deck. I mean, we haven't even completed our intro quest yet to get the first sort of pile of packs you get. So I've made a second deck for Warlock, uh, a third deck for Paladin. None of these feel very good, at least the way they look. I thought we would also throw together a Priest deck just so that we could um, have something that you know, we could start building upon. Man, I think Light Spawn is so bad. I just don't really think that that could possibly be something you would want to include in the deck. Um, I think this far watch post is pretty bad too, but it may be worth throwing it in if the deck is really bad. We'll put Loot Hoarder in just in case. Always Transfer Student, always Wand Maker. Um, at this point, man crick always basically just because it's uh, decent. It's priest, so we can go a little bit, um, I guess, more late game focused. So, what's bad in this deck, or what's the worst stuff we have in this deck right now? Um, man, we don't even have Shadow Word Pain opened up yet. So it's probably, we'll take out a Loot Hoarder and we'll take a Psychic Conjurer out. We'll put these two in here. And I think we want to take one more card out, maybe a Smite for Plague Proto Drake. So um, let's see, we need to start, uh, let's start calling these by their name, not by the, the order in which we built them. I mean, it's just, they're all just like, holder decks that you know if we unlock one or two cards we could add it to them to start making them a little better perhaps and then the mage the only other thing we'll do is look at uh, hunter as i said initially these are sort of the classes i enjoy most now it may be that we get cards that compel me to go outside of these classes how many cards do we have? See, I don't even think there's enough to do any sort of beast synergy. Um, realistically, I guess freezing and explosive. And then we probably have to go to neutral. And again, we're pretty much putting all the same neutral cards, well, with some variation. There's a beast, like it might be worth putting some of these beast, neutral beasts in here, I guess. We're at 27 cards. I mean, we always want to get Sil uh, Dark Moon and I guess a Stormwind Champion, I don't know. Maybe actually Stranglethorn isn't that bad of a card. It gets really heavy on the top end, doesn't it? Bear Shark is pretty bad, let's be honest here. I could see putting like River, Cross, River Croc in just because of the trying to do a little um, beast synergy. And so what I'm noticing so far as we try to 
plow through the very beginning is that you pretty like the best strategy would probably be you know picking a class and even if you're losing a lot in the very beginning just sticking with it because you're going to level that class up you're actually going to unlock really good cards as you get towards i think it like level 20 is when you stop unlocking cards on that class um so i wouldn't necessarily do what i'm doing right now which is skipping around playing different decks however i'm hoping that we'll get something in an early pack that will give us some direction on like okay now it makes sense to go with with this deck we're gonna coin out two one drops here by the way i think the idea with this warlock deck is that um you know basically we're playing a poor man's kind of zoo like deck it's not exactly zoo at this point it's just a aggro deck really but We'll see if we can ever over overwhelm our opponent. Uh, this is anti-aggro, by the way. So it doesn't make sense in the deck, but just having reasonably strong cards, I think, is always worth it. So is there a reason to trade here? Probably not. Yeah, so now we'll trade with Raid Leader out. See how much AoE he's running. Mage should be able to deal with our one health minions, either pinging them off or other low cost AoE spells. Yeah, that's what I would be running. I think that is what we have in our Mage deck, in fact. Everyone's a winner. He's going to get an aggro deck as well, it looks like. Unless he just happened to draw a lot of low-cost minions. So this is probably mirror again, right? The only other thing it might be is Oasis Al uh, Alley. Thank you. Okay. So now we just don't attack his minion. Oh, it's not that, it's Ice Barrier. Okay, I still think this is fine. maybe that like one mana additional cost so this card here which has gotten nerfed or i think it was a two four it can attack what it does is when they draw a card it causes it to draw uh cost more mana so this card theoretically cost one more mana than it would have i guess he's trying to figure out if he wants to trade it looks like he's going to ping off our 3-2, which makes good sense. So at this point, with that much health left, I mean, we're never going to 
doesn't look like we're going to um, be able to do enough here. So we could play this with this just to get the actual spells. Um, We're down to 16 health though. You know, and Mage, he probably runs Fireball. I think we're just, we're walking a tight line here. So theoretically we can play this and then discard something if we wanna get those spells. I mean, some random spells may be the only thing that can save us here. Hmm. This is doing some work. It just can't, it doesn't help us with board here. Give your minions plus one plus one. So let's see if that's the minions on the board. It is. Okay, that's good. I thought it was, but I just wanted to make sure. This is a nice card. Swarm Imp Swarm is not bad either. We're not that far away from turn ten if we happen to be able to save it for that long. So all of a sudden we do have nice board control here. Health is still a concern. We probably need to stop tapping soon. <laughs> okay, he's got four mana left. Let's see what he gets to play here. This can be scary. It was creating by babbling uh, book. And that's the only thing he played, but it did cost two mana. Then that cost two mana. Almost tempting to save that a turn if it was me. Get some more things played, but... Okay, now he only has one mana, so... Looks like he might have a one more spell he can play. Uh, I guess he's just going to lose all these cards. So, again, may have been worth holding on to that again uh, for a turn. Something like Deep Freeze. I saw Deep Freeze in there. That's a complete game changer. Um, all right. So, I don't think we can wait... I think we play this. Let's uh, let's tap first. It's probably our last tap. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know. Might have been better to leave a three-two on the end. We know that Silas Dark Moon might be a. Uh, Card that we would play soon. Man, you always like to see that when the mage has to fireball a little minion like that. So let's see, let's do this. And pass. He must have really um, situational cards. Those cards he's been holding on to. This has actually made a huge impact in this game, I think. Oh, this could be interesting. I think overall that was good for him, but not not nothing that special yeah. so we've got lethal on board we can at least destroy a minion with cascading or we can trade with silas and i'm just trying to protect our health i don't know that there's a reason right now to um Man, he's got so many cards. Okay, that's going to be... Even if it's Ice Barrier, that's not that big a deal. Okay, so you always want to get him as low a health as possible. 
Oh, it is Ice Barrier. We could have tapped there. We could have tried to find lethal. Do we have a, a lethal in... Maybe abusive sergeant wouldn't have been quite there. Transfer student could have, maybe. Getting Manric rotated in would have been nice. Uh, Dark Iron Dwarf would have been close. Oh, we did have Hellfire. I guess that is lethal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so every time I miss lethal, you should take a drink of coffee or something. I guess that might be too much caffeine, but... Um, There we go. We won a match. What do you know? That may not help happen a lot here, but uh, happened one time. So there's 100 gold. I kind of want to finish one more game, and then we will um, then we'll get some packs. And it looks like a, a an epic, free epic. Uh, and then we'll also use our 100 gold to get another pack. All right, let's try the Paladin deck. So that was the Warlock. Now we'll try a Paladin. And then uh, once we get these next packs opened, again, maybe that'll give us a direction, at least for now, to say, okay, let's focus on this class and see what we can unlock. Warlock is such a tempting pick, though, because at a fairly low level as a Warlock, you do unlock... Uh, Lord Draxus. And Lord Draxus is sort of like, it's, it's a way to win, right? It's a win condition. So no matter what you, the rest of your deck is like, as you know, as the rest of your deck gets better, it gets better and better, of course, but you know you have a, a win condition in your deck with Lord Draxus. So that's one thing that I think early on is worth considering with Warlock. Mage is probably also like an okay option just because of the potential burn you have. You can just win games on the amount of damage you can you can do out of hand with spells and such. But uh, yeah, so it's probably worth corrupting that. I mean, we already have things that'll corrupt that in hand, obviously. So let's uh, let's hold on to that. The additional stats, I think it's worth just doing reinforce there. And I'm okay with using this on turn three, especially if this lives and it can potentially, you know, trade up or something. And that will go ahead and corrupt it. Okay, this is probably explosive, right? In case it's freezing, we'll attack with this one. Our minions aren't strong enough to, um, to, uh, like, pass, I don't think. I mean, passing is always an option if we just want to trade minions for a while. But we still have, um, like, we can just play this on turn three, even if this is explosive. I think, that, I think it's worth playing that instead of, like, doing a really slow play of, you know, something else here. Ooh. So I think Scorpid is a card that you unlock um, also pretty early in your leveling. So you're going to see a lot of Scorpids in early matches, and you'll probably want Scorpids in most of your early decks. I think Divine Shield will protect us from poison. Let's test that theory. Again, I am not a... Um, not a hearthstone expert some of the interactions between cards i either forget or don't know how they do but we'll hopefully figure it out here so if if again if it's freezing trap i think we'd rather this get returned to our hand other than this um, and if it's another explosive trap that's fine And I'm going to I'm going to suggest here that we're right now going to do that and test to see if he has um, hard removal. 
which he could have hard removal. It's in the hunter core. Yeah, the question here is, do we ever just not attack? And just pass? I think we do. Because if it's freezing, we want something else to get returned. This already has a Blessing of Kings on it. If it's explosive, then all these die. But not till we attack the hero. So we could potentially do some trading with them. Remember, we also have this. Um... Uh, you know what? We're just going to take this. The battle. I think we played that right. The battle. I think that is correct. I think that was the correct way to play that in terms of um, testing. I mean, if, if planning on it being freezing there. And if we had lost this to freezing, it eats up Blessing of Kings. It then becomes a less impactful card. So I think that was the right way to go. And you see the effects of Silas. Now, he, you know, everyone has Silas. He could have it and do it right back, obviously. Um but to take off his pack tactics upgraded savannah high main is again very impactful so we didn't get much of a look there but that's that seemed like a better deck to me i mean the paladin deck at least felt like it had some good synergies okay here we go okay so we unlocked wildfire once again mage Immediately, we want to go add that to our mage deck. Close on finishing this. Two games in any mode. Well, let's go ahead and unlock some packs. I mean, first of all, let's add this to mage, and then let's unlock some packs. All right, so what are we taking out here? There's a lot of stuff that we want to take out, actually. Uh, we'll just take that out for now. The owl. All right. Let's check out the packs. Let's also see. There's 50 more gold. Let's make sure that this doesn't give us any levels towards our experience for the season. Wow. Oh, that's cool. We have 150 gold, so we will go ahead and get... You know, I don't know if we ever get... I mean, I think we go ahead and, and, and really are going to focus on Forged in the Barrens, the most recent expansion to release for now. Alright. So that's a second Oasis... Okay, I'm not sure. Nothing there that I saw that was must play. All right, there's a Scorpid, but I'm pretty sure we unlock Scorpid on the... I mean, this immediately probably goes in all of our decks. This is not bad either. Razor main. I mean, especially in, in Arena. I'm not sure about Constructed. I mean, at this point for Constructed, yeah, it's probably worth a spot in our decks. Uh, Hysteria, really good. 
priest or warlock. Uh, Lightsteed probably has a spot in our priest deck. Mage? Mage or Warlock? Uh, you know, at this point, probably worth running. Good warrior card. After you play a minion, destroy it and summon a 4-4 failed student. Boy, that is like a zoo card, isn't it? I don't know if it's any good, but you want to play one drops that turn into 4-4s, right? Uh, it it looks it doesn't look that good to me off the top of my head, but I have no idea if it actually is maybe better than it looks. So we should have gotten some, we should get some XP here, right? For the Baron's achievements, maybe not. I guess I'm wrong. Okay, so at level three we get the yeah here we go level four we get the golden scorpid so we'll have scorpids very soon. Peon, I mean I don't think that's worth much. Hog rider for sure. Um, level thirteen probably worth putting in in our decks at this point at least. Level twenty three I think that's too slow for most decks so I mean all the way up until and there's a second one all the way up until 33 I mean there's some interesting cards mostly what you're wanting though is all this gold so you can get packs and, and build your decks up obviously okay let's go deck by deck in terms of our starter decks so let's go to hunter first I don't think we're playing with this um, Penflinger got nerfed. It only does damage to the minion now. It's still okay, but... Give a random minion a hand plus two, plus two. It's slow, but it's, it's decent. All right, so this always goes in. I think even Hunter. I think Hunter has good enough spells that it would go in here. It is a beast as well. That's another vote for running it razor main raider not a beast but God, that seems slow as we get cards i don't think this war song wrangler is quite good enough um You know, I think we take start taking Stormwind Champion out of most decks as we get reasonable cards, but... Alright, let's look at Priest. Hysteria for sure, right? Maybe even in place of a death. Death not as good as it once was. Is there anything else that's just terrible in here, though? We're also going to be putting Light Steed. Definitely take a Yeti out, I think. I don't think Rally makes that much sense in this deck. So we'll do that for now. All right, I need to remember these new cards that we unlocked to think about, like, okay, would they go... would they go in each deck? So like what, what decks would we put these in? I'm thinking mage and warlock would at least be worth considering. Oh, see Scorpid. I've got to remember Scorpid for all of them. My gut tells me that two deaths might be too many. All right. Does Scorpid go in Paladin? I think so. T 
Destroy a friendly minion, deal two damage to all enemy minions. It's interesting for how like aggressive our deck is. Sacrifice one minion and hopefully kill a lot of theirs. Backfire could be okay. Three cards for obviously hysteria, right? It, it gets to feel kind of controlly, but I think it's just good enough that it just needs to be here somewhere. This is just, um, I mean, right now for what this deck is trying to be, Mage Scribe is just too slow, yeah. What did we get new in Mage? Oh, a second of these. What doesn't belong? What's not good enough? Probably Stormwind, right? And then we know we want Scorpid. Still need to decide on these two. I'm not sure if Kel'Thuzad is... I guess Razormane is just is a good um, arena card. I'm not sure if it's that good. I guess in Mage it just makes more sense because you could ping it yourself. Uh, do we have anything that's just like a waste of space around? You could argue this is like out of place, right? And what else? Maybe a Dark Iron? Probably ought to get away from Dark Iron in Mage. Um, okay. All right, so where are we quest-wise? We gotta play two game modes, okay. So the question is, which deck do we wanna use? Paladin felt pretty good. I guess we haven't tried out Hunter. What is Hunter looking like right now? I don't, I don't think I love it. We could try it though. Um, Man, it looks, it looks like such a hodgepodge, doesn't it? Let's try it one time. I think this is the time to play with some of these, you know, starter, starter decks. And then as we get better cards, hopefully some direction will become clear. I'm really curious, like, I feel like our first opponent had, that we lost to at the end of the first video, had a really nice deck for being a level 40 whatever um i will fight with honor let the hunt begin yeah i don't i don't think we keep either one of these um but so far we've been seeing folks that are kind of in similar position as as we are in terms of not having net decks when you start running into net decks probably means you need to lose some more to get your <laughs> your rating down a bit not your like in-game rating but sort of the hidden rating rating that decides who they're matching you up against but you certainly don't want to play against net decks with these types of, of decks so we're playing against paladin ooze worth keeping <sighs> saving coin Now using coin. Just gives us a chance to draw draw our wife. And uh, a little power on board when we do draw her. Other than that, we don't have any sort of like reactionary stuff other than the ooze, I guess. But just try to play on curve, get power out as best we can. Uh-oh, did we already find her? That 
was quick. I mean, that is quick. That's why you want to play it early, I guess, on the chance that you draw it this early in the game. What tempo? Oh, ooze. So it looks like it's going to be ooze and river croc. Paladin, so they have a way to buff everything. These two die to consecration. Other than that, I think we're safe. I think it's worthwhile trading there. You would assume that you're going to have Blessing of Kings and possibly. I'm sorry, but where did that card come from? That's a really good card. I mean, I don't know. I should have paid more attention. I'm not sure how many minions he has right now, but he's got to feel pretty good about that. I like having Silas in hand. <clears throat> so there it is. That's why we did what we did earlier, I suppose. And that was a nice top deck. The victory is yours. Okay, I apologize for poo-pooing on this hunter deck. I mean, a lot of that was just RNG, but... Does it tell you when you unlock a new card, or do you have to look? Oh, we're a flower now. Or do you have to look? We got a wow mount. So one more game to get to get that. Use your hero power ten times. That should be easy enough. Okay, so no new hunter cards. Oh, I guess we should go ahead and clear these new cards. Okay. Okay. I don't think there was anything that... Yeah, that's pretty good. Field Contact is a pretty good card for Rogue, actually. And we had a nice, yeah, nice uh, Warrior card there. Uh, so now we've tried everything at least once, right? Okay. Um, maybe we haven't tried Priest yet? We must have because we're that far. All right, let's try Hunter again. Let's just see if that was an aberration. I'm just, I think our opponent got really unlucky. We got really lucky with how quickly we found our wife. Had a really nice top deck. So I don't think that was an accurate representation of our deck's strength, but. Nice. Hunter, Hunter. This will be good to see. Always cool to see what other newish or new accounts, at least, cards people have unopened or what they're running. I want to play this one time, so I'm going to keep it, just hoping that we'll get to play it. Um, see how that feels. This probably doesn't make sense in this deck, other than that it's just a decent card and we don't have that many cards <laughs> unlocked yet, but... Can that be right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe so. Maybe it is. Depends on if he's got, like, the follow-up. Yeah. Okay. Now he's on track to killing us pretty quick. So I guess it was reasonable. Unfortunately, because of our hand, I think we've got to play on curve here I don't think we use coin right now wow okay smart I think I think this is smart for like for new players new decks 
just put something really aggressive together and just try to overrun your opponent. All right, let's play it before this game is over. Just on principle, I'm going to choose uh, Scorpid there. We may have to play a real, like do something really inefficient this next turn, like use Deadly Shot or I don't know. We're ooh, that's a cool card. Mystery winner. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad one to run. So what secret would he have chosen in this situation? And does he play it now? Yep. So he's going to go face with everything, force us to. Uh, Try to attack with this and then probably ice trap it, right? Our problem here is that I don't know that we ever stabilize. Yeah, that's the right choice. Freezing trap is the right choice for the line he's on. We play this hoping for a miracle. I guess it's this. So what would help us right now? And I don't know that we have these options, but we could look and see. Okay, that's a slower play. We don't mind that. What would help us right now is taunt. Or explosive trap. <laughs> Actually, explosive trap would be pretty nice right here. Okay, so now I have to play it, right? Two. Rank spells are all pretty good. I mean, is there anything else we would want to play here? I don't think so. So we always go this. And we play this without even thinking, right? So this attacks a random enemy. It kills itself on our Scorpid, but it also kills our Scorpid. So, you know, if he uses his hero power, which he should do every turn, I will hunt you down. he should be able to kill us even without... Oh, man, that's lethal right there, isn't it? He's one turn away from lethal now. Never mind. Yep, still one turn away from lethal. I don't think there's anything we can draw here uh, or anything that saves us. Four, five, six, seven. We can clear his board, but we never have health. Um, so, can we freak him out with a secret? Obviously, we try. Nah, we just do this. Take a trip. If he knows his secrets, he knows that um, we die no matter what. All he has to do is push that number two, which is called Steady Shot. Okay, that was a good, that was good. That was actually um, a fun little matchup there. Yes, look at all these packs. I do think though, especially if we can find, use your hero power 10 times and we're on regular quest, that's awesome. Hero power 20 times, 25 millions. Um, we'll, we'll reset that one. I guess reset this one. Battle cry is fine. Let's, um, real quick, before I forget, let's look at Hunter and just see if there's taunt that, we, that would make sense right now. No Hunter taunt. Uh, Sinjin is, is good enough that we could just put it in there. Um... And we're just going to go four for four here in terms of taking out. Okay, so let's look at a couple things. First of all, on quests, one thing that's nice is that you can um, reset one daily and weekly quest every day. And so since, look at that. 
the synergy and we want to be hitting that um, hitting that hero ability don't we I really hope we'd open up something in a pack here that just gives us a clear sign on what we should play okay so there we go Ooh, that gave us something didn't it so some of these I guess Baron achievements Baron's achievements do give you uh, XP wait it's saying that we can click something but there's nothing there it must be a bug all right, so we got Scorpids. So now we can put two Scorpids in every deck, which is nice. Okay, let's open our packs. It's always fun. See if there's anything that needs to be added. That's terrible Priest card. Uh, Sunwell Initiate, again, decent Arena card. Is it good enough to go in decks now that we have? Possibly. Gold Road, Road Grunt was just talking about need for um, Taunt. Fire hero powered all enemies. That's a great mage card for us right now. All right, so we need to adjust mage and hunter at the moment. There's another beast. Another mage card worth considering. Invigorating Ser Sermon is okay for Paladin. Ooh, I like this. Warlock. Uh, okay, Priest card, yeah. And there's a nice Warrior. Any of the Discover cards. At this point, you want Discover card. Oh, I missed Mage. Yeah, yeah, we'll totally put Primordial Study in Mage. I need to take... We need to take a look at Mage. Mage just might be worth revisiting with the cards that we've unlocked. Arbor Up is so good for Druid. If I enjoyed playing Druid more... Um, Strongman, good arena card. Not sure about constructed though. Not sure about constructed. All right. So first of all, because it's just going to be easier for me to not forget. Let's go to this. And uh, though I don't think we put strongman in here, I think we do put uh, a five drop taunt. And now. More importantly, let's go to Mage. Uh, what did we get new Mage? All right, Primordial Studies always goes in there. I really don't like Geomancer. I feel like those are gonna be coming out soon. This goes in. Um, but if we're taking Geomancer, I mean, yeah, Geomancer out, I think we also start thinking about less reliance on Shooting Star. Maybe we're there, maybe we're not, I don't know. Draw two cards, refresh two mana crystals, crystals for each spell. And that's good, we just don't have enough spells yet. Like, we're getting there, but we don't yet. Um, all right, what's new in neutrals? Yeah, another Beast for Hunter. Oh yeah, second Scorpid. We do have one Scorpid, right? Yeah, okay, so we take out Dark Iron and go Scorpid. How's our, eh, a little low on four drops. A little low on four drops. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, how long has it been? 48 minutes. I think this is a good time to stop. We will continue this. I might even record it one more episode tonight. We'll see. As always, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying it, let me know. Uh, I'll keep doing it as long as I'm having fun with it, but certainly interested in feedback from others. Thanks for watching. See you next time.